Today I'm going to be comparing Obsidian Canvas with Notion. Now they are both really good tools that can be used in different ways. So if you want to find out which is better make sure you watch this video and I'll try and describe the features of both and which one is best for you to use. Now let's get right into it. First of all, let's discuss the pricing for each. Now Obsidian is free for personal use, completely free. And if you want it for commercial use, it only costs $50 per user per year. So it's very, very cheap. That comes out at about $4 per month. They also offer some add-ons. Now you can get different data packages. So basically if you need um, data storage, you can, you can get that and also this option here allows you to publish your notes to the web, which is pretty cool. They also have early access, so it helps to give you early access features. This is for $25 one-time payment, so it's pretty affordable. Now, if we move over to Notion, Notion also has a free plan. So this allows you to do all the basic stuff, invite 10 guests. And then the next thing is the $8 plan per month. and it gives you unlimited blocks, it gives you unlimited file uploads, it gives you history and it allows you to invite 100 guests. They also have these plans up here, but unless you are a business with some serious requirements, these two are going to be fine. I've used both of these, Obsidian and Notion, and I have never needed to actually upgrade to any of these plans. I think I may have upgraded to this once, but for the most part, free plan is going to be fine. And for this, free plan is going to be fine. So they're both basically the same price, which is something to note. So let's jump into the actual features of both right away. So first up we have Obsidian. Now Obsidian is a lot more simplistic you could say, but it isn't so simplistic. Now it looks very simple on the front. It looks like something like uh, Apple Notes and it's very easy to use at first. So I can create a new file here and call this file one. But what you'll notice is if I type slash, we don't have any of the features that we would have in Notion. So on Notion, if you type slash, it would give you a ton of different options. It would give you headings, tables, it'd give you a ton of different options. Whereas in Obsidian, it's slightly different the way it works. For you to get all of these cool features that Notion uses, you actually need to use plugins. So the way you can use plugins is if you go over to the left side here and go down to the bottom, go to settings, then go to core plugins. So these are the core plugins by default that they give you. But what I would say about these core plugins here is they're quite basic. Um, if you press add here, it shows you the different things that you can have in here. But these core plugins are pretty basic. Now the real kind of benefit I would say of Obsidian is the community plugins here. So if we go to community plugins, you'd have to turn it on. And basically community plugins are ones that are made by the community, which give you a lot of cool features. So you can see that there's actually 1,300 community plugins and they have everything you would ever need. I'm going to be honest. This is one of the huge benefits of Obsidian is it can be very customizable for your needs. So what we can do in here, we can type in what we need. So if we needed a flowchart. Oh, if we need some kind of chart, for example, uh, Obsidian charts, here we go. We can click on this here and we're going to see that someone has created a plugin which allows you to put charts in. Same as if we want 3D graphs. There's a ton of different things here. We've got visualizations. If I show you the most popular ones here, we've got this one here, which allows you to view drawings like this, which are pretty cool. So if I was to install this here, I could then go back and I can turn it on and now it's going to pop up here and it's going to tell me how to use it. So that's one of the huge benefits of Obsidian is this, these plugins here. One of the downsides I would say about this is that these plugins can be a little bit hard to use. So you might need a little bit more computer experience to use them. So while it is a lot more simplistic at the start. These plugins add a lot of complexity and it not, they're not necessarily all very beginner friendly. If I show you again, um, a lot of these you can see require a little bit of weird formatting, whereas in Notion it's a lot more user friendly. 
If I show you this uh, drawing app I've just got here, create a new drawing. You can see it's very cool the way it's set up. You know, I can, I can have my pen. Hello. I can add an image. I can do text. There's a ton of different features I can do within all these different apps. So this is one of the benefits is the plugins. Now, if we go over to Notion, I'm going to show you some of the features of Notion. So now I'm over here in Notion and I'm going to show you a bit more how it works. So similarly, we can add a new page on the side here like this. We can put a title into it. So we can say page one. And right away, it's added a view. Now, I don't actually want that view, so I'm just going to add a new page. I'll add page two. So unlike Obsidian, I can actually type slash here and it's going to give me a ton of different options. So I can do text, pages, I can do a to-do list, headings, tables. There's tons of different things I can do, media, all this kind of stuff. And this is kind of where Notion wins in terms of user friendliness and simplicity. It allows you just to simply pick what you need to do. Um, there's even Notion AI, so I can... Um, add some AI so if I wanted to translate or explain something or have a social media post or change a tone I could do that using AI completely. Now if I was to create or show you a table that I've created here there's a lot of cool features that are relatively simple to use but require a little bit of work. So here I've got a little table here for tracking goals and I have my actions down below that uh, help for these goals. So I've got this when I tick this box, this one loads here. And as you can see, these boxes have a relation to this. Now the reason the way I've done that is with the relation tool. So um, you can go over here and I can press add and I can add something called a relation and that's going to relate different parts over here. So these are a lot more user friendly, just a lot easier to use if you're just a general person who needs this for, you know, day to day stuff. It's easy to use, but it's not as customizable. So if you're looking for something simple that has easily integrates to other platforms, then I would go with Notion if it's just for day to day stuff. But if you want something that's more in depth, more customizable, but potentially slightly harder to use at this moment, then you can go for Obsidian. In terms of pricing, they're the same, so it's really down to your specific needs and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's what I would say. So if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below that it was helpful, and let me know which one you end up choosing. Thank you for watching.